Hello, and thank you for visiting WorksheetsAndWalkthroughs.com. In this video walkthrough lesson, we're going to take a look at single digit multiplication once again, but this time we're going to represent it on a place value chart. We'll be using these worksheets. You can go to WorksheetsAndWalkthroughs.com to print out a copy for yourself. You'll find them under our video walkthroughs section, and this one's entitled Single Digit Multiplication Represented on a Place Value Chart. We have two sheets. Let's take a look at the first problem. Tamika loves spicy tofu tacos. She ate them for dinner and lunch four days in a row. If she ate nine tacos each day, how many tacos did Tamika eat altogether? Now let's go through this sentence by sentence, take a closer read of the problem, and see if we can tease out the math clues. First sentence, Tamika loves spicy tofu tacos. Did you hear any math clues there? Nah, just story information. If you're thinking that, good for you. Next sentence, she ate them for dinner and lunch four days in a row. Did you catch that? There's our first math clue, important math information. She ate the tacos four days in a row. Next sentence. If she ate nine tacos each day, that's nine tacos, important math information. Each, an important word, she ate nine tacos in each of those four days. So there we go. We have nine tacos each day for four days, and here comes our math job right here at the end. In the form of a question, how many tacos did Tamika eat all together? Hmm. Well, if you're thinking, hmm, well, we know that in multiplication, we have a couple of factors here. We have four representing the four days. And in each of the, on each of those days, she ate nine tacos. So we have two known factors and an unknown product here. 4 times 9 equals, you may know this, but let's see what happens on a place value chart. Let's investigate what happens here. Here we go. So we've got four groups of 9. So we can partition our place value chart to show diff four different partitions. So you can follow along and draw dotted lines on here to represent your partitions, so representing the four days. And you can see them. We have 1, 2, three, four partitions, and those represent the days. Now we have nine tacos. So we represent these with place value disks. Discs. Sometimes people call them place value disks. Here we go. And we, have, we have four so far. Five, six, seven, eight, nine nine in the second group so if you're following along go ahead you can just just draw circles to represent the ones here that would be fine three four five six seven eight nine once again so there there are two groups of nine if you're following along and having trouble keeping up with me, feel free to pause the video. I'm just going to make another group of nine here. So that would be the third day that she ate tacos for lunch and dinner. There we have eight. And one more would make, make nine. There's the third day. And then it, we could continue this, showing nine tacos being eaten by Tamika on the fourth day. So you can see we have four groups of nine. So this is really what, what the multiplication would look like on a place value chart. Now you could say, well, you could count them all up. Absolutely, you could. But knowing something about the place value chart, we can't have more than nine in each place on the place value chart. So what we're going to do is go ahead and circle groups of 10. Okay, so we've got 9 here plus one more. And that would give us 10. 
So we're going to regroup or bundle those ones, and that would give us 110 there. So there's one group, and once you once you've bundled it up, you might want to exit out so you can show that you've already counted that one. And now we've got to make another another group of 10. I'll show in a different color just so it stands out more for you. If you're using your pencil, that's fantastic too. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'd have to group two more in that bundle. There, so far we have two tens or ten twenty so far. We'll show that we've used that that group so far. They're no longer ones. We've bundled them together to form tens. And let's see if we can get some more. Two, four, six, eight. All right, let's see. We've got two, four. Six, eight, nine. Just double check our work here. It's always good to check your work. We've got two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay. There's another group of ten. There we go. So another group of ten. And we will bundle those together. And show another another 10. And we'll go back to make sure we X those that group out to show that we have used those 10 to form 10 ones to form a 10. And now we can kind of total this all up. And you can see right here we have 10, 20, 30. Three tens would be 30. We'll continue to count by ones here. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So the product of 4 and 9 would indeed be 36. So now that we have, we know that 4 times 9 equals 36, let's go ahead and check our math job. How many tacos did Tamika eat all together? If you were thinking that Tamika ate 36 spicy tofu tacos all together, you'd be absolutely correct. Now we know that we had numbers with our equation, 4 times 9 equals 36, our pictures, this time shown as a place value chart, and our words in our complete sentence. We have a well-rounded answer, and look at that, a completely happy student. <laughs> all right, so let's move on to the next problem. In the next four problems, we're going to go through a little bit more quickly. I've already set up the place value chart with the equal partitions. If you need to pause the video and jot this down, feel free to do that now. So here we go. We have three times seven. We have three, and you could think of it as three groups of seven. You can see these, these partitions over here. We have three of them, and I've really thought of seven, each group of seven, as a five plus two. You can see that, and you'll see why. So when we go to bundle up these ones into tens on the place value chart, you can see that working with fives is much easier. You can see five plus five would equal 10. So we'd have a 10 there. We could bundle those up and make that a 10. There we go. And then you can look for another group of 10. Let's see if we have one. So now we've got this down here. We have five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can see that. You can see that would be another group of ten. So we'll go ahead and bundle that up as a ten or regroup. So now we we have this one over here left over. You can see that over here. And now let, let's let's total this up. We've now bundled those up and regrouped, and we'll see what our total would be. We have ten. 20 and then we have one left over there in the ones place so two tens and one one would give us a product of 21 if you were thinking that excellent good for you so we'll put that in there 21 we we started off with two factors 
and one unknown, and we, we have three times seven equals 21. We just proved that with a place failure chart. Let's try the next one. Now we have four times six, or four groups of six, so let's go ahead and bundle those up together. We have five plus five equals 10, so that group right there would be 10. We can trade that in or regroup or bundle that up and make another 10. So there we have it. We have a 10 in the tens place now. Let's see if we can make another. Yep, absolutely. If you saw that there were two groups of five and five plus five equals 10, excellent, good thinking. There's another 10. And you can probably visualize this and see that, that we do not have uh, another group of 10 over here. We have four ones left over. Can't make a group of 10 there. Can't bundle or regroup. So let's total it up. 10. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So if you're thinking that 4 times 6 equals 24, absolutely correct. And once again, we did prove that using a place value chart. It's pretty cool. So we'll jot that in there. 4 times 6 equals 24. Next problem. Now we have 3 times 6, or 3 groups of 6. We'll go ahead and regroup or bundle. You can quickly see how it's now it's easy to work with fives. Five plus five equals 10. That's another group of 10. There we have it. And then we'll check to see if we have another group of 10. So you can see over here, we've got the ones there. Let's see if we have 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Absolutely not. We do not have enough to make another 10. So we're done. Uh, we have one 10, so that'd be 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So the product of 3 times 6 would equal 18. And let's move on to the last problem. We have 4 times 7, or 4 groups of 7. And we'll start to group up 10s. There's one. 5 plus 5 equals 10. Love working with 5s. So there's a 10. And now we'll move on. And we have another group of 10 down here. Bundle those up. Make another 10. There it is. And you can probably visualize this over, over here as well. You can see that 2, 4, 6, 8 would not be enough to make a 10. So we are done. We found our product, 10, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. So if you're thinking 4 times 7 equals 28, awesome, excellent job. There we go. We have 4 times 7 equals 28. And that was a quick look at using a place value chart to multiply single digit numbers. Thanks for checking out worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com. We'll see you again next time.